going to my studio and I saw a woman in the middle of the day pooing on the side of the road and that's sort of what inspired this painting, Roadside Dump. So it was that kind of juxtaposition that I started playing around with. But eventually I realized that I needed to move away from that cocoon and I needed to come out of my shell. I was comfortable in my skin in Nigeria and I needed to sort of express that. And I wanted to paint this um, body that's multidimensional, that has different parts, that is shedding her fur and um, expressing herself and sort of presenting herself to the world. So I wasn't painting the colored wigs anymore and I started painting my afro, dreadlocks, things like this, just sort of like embracing my identity. You don't just get the job of painting Barack Obama. Um, in 2016, I was invited to the White House to speak with him. A number of artists were. And I had to talk about what my work was about and why I felt I would be the best guy for the job. I must have said something, right? Um, in the end, his biggest question to me was, Kende, your work has been about the powerless, and I'm easily the most powerful man in the world. How are you going to take my image and turn that into something that means something over time? Work them on the computer, get the background working. He loved it. And then I get a phone, a phone call later. Please hold for the president. He's like, Fuck. You know, am, I, am I really having this conversation? Uh, how, how are you? <laughs> I guess what I want to say is the number one communication in that painting is openness. Here you have some evil artist from Odincha, you know, who painted and they for a princess. So it brought you know, a lot of uh, legends together. It was a clearly masterpiece, even by his own standards. Um, and I think that uh, this, this work is very important because it was very instrumental to his philosophy of negritude, which uh, is espoused by Leopold Senghor, the uh, first president of Senegal. You know, and I, I think it uh, talked about you know, the emancipation of the black race. You see that in the features in the black velvety skin. So I think that work in itself is very important. You know, so important pieces like that that are well published, that are well exhibited. I was saying to myself, the things I was painting about in England aren't as pertinent. I needed to find a new language to express what I was experiencing in Nigeria. And so I needed to evolve. And so I opened myself up to that evolution. Lots of paintings failed. <laughs> so I'm just showing you the ones that I think succeeded. But um, yes, yeah, so, so that it was a difficult.